Ja. Exactly. And I'm so excited to meet him again, the whole Adamaya. Uh -uh. Why Adamaya is on our wall here? Um, sometimes when you do things to people or when you do good to people, you have to let them know exactly what they have done and how appreciative you are to the, these kind of people. And you out there supporting Wadamaya all the way, Africa, even Africa continent, you've been doing things and recognizing Maya and that pushed him to do what he's doing today. So I think uh, it's good for you to recognize people who are doing good so that good people continue doing good into the world and we all move forward. How are you all doing? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're still on a journey trying to tell you that Ghana is not just Accra, right? We've got 16 regions, so whenever you get time, you need to explore within Ghana. That's why I'm exploring Ghana. Yesterday, we were in Konongo with Black Sheriff. Today, we are in Kumasi, and tomorrow, we'll be in Sunyani. So being in Kumasi, I just want to create like a day in the life of Wadamaya in Kumas. It's just gonna be a random vlog, a very interesting vlog, a funny one. Maybe something might happen, I don't know. But I'm just going out there, go with the flow. So I just want you all to come with me. So you know what you need to do? Like the video, subscribe, and be part of this awesome channel if you haven't. We are in Kumasi. So there's gold everywhere. So in case you see gold surrounding me, make sure you pick it through the camera. Thank you. Before we hit the road, I just want to show you the richest man in Ghana. He deals with in gold. Yeah, Kuku. Hello, <laughs> If you're living in a house with no gates, man, you just have to be a gates man by yourself. Your Majesty, the richest man in the whole Ghana, the man who deals in gold. He got so many bezels in his house, like different E class, C class, D class, and even the Z class. My friend, get out. <laughs> hey, what happened? It was so easy to open, but very tough to close it. So yeah, let's go now. Just this, this look at the car, bro. Your majesty. Hey! <laughs> He's diving into the car, bro. <laughs> Let's go, Kogu. Hey! <laughs> I believe you now! <laughs> the people of Kumasi represent big houses. Yeah, so if you see anyone building big houses, mansion, get to know that he's from the Ashanti region. I, I don't know, do you guys agree with me? So Kweku went to buy medicine, he came to me and said the girl at the pharmacy shop is so pretty. So I'm just here just to come and tell her that she's so pretty. Just like that. My brother came to the house and said he met the most beautiful lady in Kumasi. So I had to come and check if what he's saying is so true. So I just want to tell you, I just want the world to know that you're so pretty. So let me check this. This is a real African right? Yeah. I can, t I can tell. There's no whatever, those powders or pounds or whatever. There's a real African look. She's so I natural. So whenever you see an African woman who's so natural, just feel free, be proud of her and just tell her that you're so beautiful. Oh, you shy? Yeah, I'm Oh, you don't be shy. Are you married? We want to. Are you married? You're not. She's not married. But maybe she's not single. No, I'm not single. I doubt because she I know. I mean, good men <laughs> will always love. Will always love good things. Exactly. And good women. Oh, yeah. wow. Good looking ladies. Man, I just wanna let the world know that you're pretty. That's it. That's why I'm here. Wow. Hey, so what's your name? I'm comfort. Wow. Comfort. No. Maybe she wants to comfort me. Thank you, and I'll no. see you all. I guess no. I guess no. Cool. cool. Is that, is that your no. business? I guess no. If I broke now your business. <laughs> Anytime that I come to Kumasi, Ice Cafe feel at home because you know I've been doing videos in here. This is the place that most of my videos went viral. And anytime I come here, the people in here treat me so special. I feel like a VIP in Ice Cafe. But 
this is the restaurant that I showed you guys and this is the Kocha village that it was supposed to be the restaurant but unfortunately everything got bent. So I, I built the restaurant about a month and a half for me to open it somebody put fire in it you, and everything went to ashes. Are you kidding me? Yes sir. And let me know in the comment section if you have ever been to Ice Cafe just to have your dinner, breakfast or lunch. Let me know how the food in here tastes like. I mean, let me know if you came here because of my video or you even spent a night at the Kocha village. I mean, I love that place, man. But hey, let's go in. Let's see what has changed, what is new, what is different so far. I guess what has changed in here is the fact that I don't have to follow the COVID protocol. I, I, I want to tell you something. This is the funniest man I've no, ever no, met no, in a no, very no, long no, time. No, 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 Every no, sentence no. that he wants to say, he uh, adds uh, a joke uh, to uh, it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> With that, he's so, he's so I, just, I just have to say nothing. You just have to say nothing. No, say something. Say something. I'm amazed. I don't know what it is. <laughs> because, the know, is yeah. because the camera is on. Yeah. Because the camera is on. Outside the camera, perhaps. You <laughs> and he told me that you know what I have a hotel in Sinyani and yeah. I want that hotel to host him yeah. thank you so much yeah but we know in March we're in April <laughs> what do you mean by what do you mean by March last, last month was March yeah we are in April yes <laughs> oh thank <laughs> you <laughs> whenever you come to Ice Cafe you're definitely gonna see my videos playing in here this is amazing man like this is a video that we filmed and anytime you come in here what, what, how do you call this is it, is it mini milk hey is it mini billboard <laughs> why am i it seems i don't know what i'm saying today man but it's super crazy and i'm just excited to be here that's it but what do you call this i don't know just let me know in the comment section yeah but i feel so good seeing myself in here and you know when people appreciate you it makes you want to do more of what you do for them so i'm just going to tell you guys that whenever you come to kumasi make sure you choose ice cafe as the place to sleep and eat thank you And I just want to say hello. All right, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Mommy, I just want to shake your hand. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just have to do. It. Thank you. <laughs> There's so much traffic in Kumasi, and I just met a fan, so I had to step out of my car just to say hello. You know. But hi. Oh, nice. You see, like now they're seeing me. Yo, the village boys in Kumasi. <laughs> oh my God. You have to run and catch the car, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the best university in the whole Ghana is the best because it was built by Kwame Nkrumah. So if you don't agree with me, argue with a computer. But let me know in the comment section, yeah, which university in Ghana do you think is the best university? I came here to meet a young guy who actually loves my videos. He loves me. Like, this is a guy who defends me everywhere, and I don't even know him. I, I've never met him. I don't know where he lives. He's not a family member, but even sometimes I know that I shouldn't have said this, but this guy will be like, no, 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 that's what am I? So I'm just here to come and, I mean, maybe say hello to him, and let's see. Come and come and invest. It's so planned, it's so beautiful, it's well organized, and I think I love it. You talk, you talk like that, huh? You talk like that, you make a come check like, ha! <laughs> Yo, Charlie, I don't have enough time, man, so make you join my car, make we just, I'm going somewhere, I want to take you along. Let's go. How are you doing, man? We are managing. 
Yeah, you're managing. <laughs> this guy, this guy defends me everywhere. I don't even know why, how. I just love what you do. Just love what I do, man. Charlie, by this your school there, you can't, you, you can't be married and be healed. Oh. <laughs> how many women you get for here? Man? I don't, I don't have one. You sure about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, How can you be here and you don't have any girl, bro? Oh, no. Yeah, I see women at the sea with my eyes. I have, I have other priorities. I... Hey! 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 Did you hear that? He got other priorities. So as a young African, a young Ghanaian, I mean, as a young man, make sure women are not your priorities. That's bad right there, man. One thing that I've noticed in Kumasi is that anytime you come here, you see big billboards and they are all for funeral. Com <laughs> I don't know, is it funeral announcement or funeral commercials, bro? What is it? Advertisement. Advertisement? How? For funeral? Yo. There are, there are bigger ones, but. Uh, but but, but why, why, why do you think we have certain things in Kumasi, though? I don't know if you can do, but. Well, it's part of the it's part of the culture. Look, this is beautiful, man. Hey, I've made it in life. I need to tell my mom, man. Like, look at me. Yo. I, I don't know what to say, but yeah, we go here very late, and this masterpiece right behind me deserves to be on camera. So what I'm gonna do is just. I'm so sorry for coming late. I'm very, very sorry, you know. So I'm gonna be here tomorrow morning to do this once again, just to show you guys that, you know, your contribution, whatever you did, it's actually happening. And I believe that smiles from these beautiful kids will even inspire you so that we can do more and better. I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you, yeah? Oh. That's beautiful. The people's desire to work hard to earn on their own. Yeah, and then the fact that we're able to allow people to come from all places in Ghana to work here, live here. Okay. When you go to um, uh, Aswase, you, you would see a lot of northerners over there. Do you understand? So here, we love to welcome people. We love to have people here. That's how Kumasi will live. And then we support. We understand support better. We are able to put people on, support anything good. So that's all about Kumasi. And one thing that he refused to say is that I believe that the people of Kumasi love soccer a lot. Yeah. They love football to the extent that they all come out in their numbers. I think there's a big game in the country today, man. Yeah, yeah, Kotoko has, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. And I'm, I'm actually here, but I'm on my way going somewhere, but I would love to go to the stadium to check it out, what how things are going on in there, and then yeah, I will continue my trip. But you guys got the biggest market in West Africa. Oh wow! The reason why it's the biggest because it got over ten thousand um, shops. shops and stores, stores all over in there. And I think when was it open though? Uh, I think before it should be twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen. I think before the, the NDC government left power, they opened it. Yeah. Okay. And they're expanding it because I remember yeah. it was just the phase one yeah, that was the done. Two. So the phase two is now going on. So whenever you're in Kumasi, make sure that you buy yam for yourself, man. Everything in Kumasi is cheap. One of the things that I love coming in here is that food is very cheap in Kumasi compared to Accra, man. Rich. We come from a people that were warriors. Our land was taken. 
our riches were stolen, and our culture was subject to banishment. I cannot come to Kumasi without visiting my own people. The people that made me fall so much in love with this beautiful city. You know why? I was scrolling on Twitter, Instagram, and I saw people tagging me about my own photo somewhere in Kumasi. And I'm like, you know what? Since I'm here, since I'm doing a vlog introducing this city, I just have to take photo with my own photo, right? It's so beautiful to see that you're making videos just like doing what you love and it's having impact in people's lives. And it's just amazing, man. So I just want to let you know that whatever you're doing, just do it with pure heart, pure intentions. But don't forget to stay consistent and it will surely pay off. I don't know what I'm saying. I I'm not a motivational speaker, but I guess Jennifer is. Hi, Jennifer. I mean, when I met Jennifer yesterday, she hugged me and cried, man. Meeting with Amaya for the first time. Yes. You've been watching my videos for so long? Yeah. Since when? From China, I think 2015. 2015? Yeah. And we were meeting for the first time. Yeah. That was yesterday, not today. Yeah. Yesterday, she couldn't even get close to me. She was <laughs> like, oh my God, that's what am I? I was like, someone, please punch me because <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs> fans i'm jennifer once again i think i'm appearing on his channel three times now three times now yes you've finally hijacked the channel <laughs> you know what I, I was told that i can find my picture on the wall in here yes yes we wanted it to be a surprise for you but it's kind of picky it, it, because <laughs> you know you, you cannot do, do things as a surprise for what am i because my fans are everywhere yeah exactly our intention was to make it surprise oh but um yeah it's all the same maya is here to see it for himself and then see how amazing it looks and how much he loves it so That's for me? Yeah. That's beautiful. I, see, I don't want to cry though, but yeah, men don't cry, but it's not my picture. That's me. Mm -hmm. And that's what Amaya. Handsome Maya. Oh, handsome Maya. Oh my god. I am Maya. I am Maya. Alias what Maya. See, the, the, the village boy on the wall. Yay. <laughs> I've made it in life. Whether you like it or not, you cannot tell me anything, man. Yo. Yes. And Jennifer, that's you. Yes, that's me, but. We have to make the, it's you, it's your turn, it's your life. You have to take over all the world. No! So, no. <laughs> that but, is But I, I, I share the world with Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, come close to me, come close to me. Okay. Why, why this in here? Why Wadamaya is on our wall here? Um, sometimes when you do things to people or when you do good to people, you have to let them know exactly what they have done and how appreciative you are to the, these kind of people. And you out there supporting Wadamaya all the way, Africa, even Africa continent, you've been doing things and recognizing Maya and that pushed him to do what he's doing today. So I think uh, it's good for you to recognize people who are doing good so that good people continue doing good into the world and we all move forward. I, I, I'm so touched, you know. Let me not block Maya because no. Maya is in town. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. So this is Bridge to African Connection. Um, showing up. And, 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 and <laughs> I, I feel like Bridge to Africa. Africa Connection has something related to what I do exactly. because you are changing the lives of kids one at a time, yes, and right. I'm changing the narrative of Africa one country mm -hmm. at a time. Changing the narrative. So it's more like we, we're bridging the gap, yeah? yeah? yeah. But I, I don't know. Mommy, you don't want to speak to me? <laughs> Thank you so much for this beautiful piece. I really appreciate it so much. I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing my picture on the wall. First <laughs> time. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Money cannot pay us or pay you for what you're doing for Africa and for wow. the people of Africa. And the, the children, I mean, it's a Sunday, it's Palm Sunday, so they're in church, schools are closed. 
So if they were all here, they would be cheering, cheering, cheering you mm -hmm. because you are help to, helping BTSC to change their lives. Mm -hmm. Because 125 of your sponsors, your, your, your fan club, your base have supported our children to go to school. And a lot of them go to this school, as you know. And so uh, this summer, we did this fence. Um, BTAC, some of your supporters, our circle of friends, built this fence wall. Oh, wow. And when we did the fence wall, we did it to protect the children because the children were running out on the streets, getting hit, and we were scared they might get stolen because of things that's going on. So we built the fence wall for them, mm. which is an attachment to the toilet well, that we'd okay. already built and, the, and the, um, the, the borehole. And when we did it, I said, we, we have to honor Woodmine. <laughs> right, I'm blown away, man. I'm blown away. Like, you know, when you have a plan and you eventually put the plan out and the plan actually becomes reality. Like seeing the faces of those kids in class, you've just sort of given them a chance at education. If we didn't have the education we have now, we wouldn't even know anything about YouTube and everything. So education can go so far in a, in a child's life, especially for people who don't have access to it. Over 100 students, that's 100 students' lives that have changed. And uh, I'm planning to make it a thousand by the end of this year. When it's coming from a lot of people, it's very small, $100 can change the life of a, a child. That's, that's so crazy, man, that's so crazy. See all the kids, see how they're happy, just running around, just feeling really good. They're in, they're in class. If not for stuff like this, maybe some of them might be in some other places that they're not meant to be. So it's, 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 really, it's really amazing, man. Shout out to you, shout out to you. I'm clapping for you. <laughs> the artist who, who, who painted this picture, his name is Evans. Um, and he, I said, you, we're finding a good picture of him <laughs> that represents him as this village boy can. <laughs> <laughs> so he took an actual picture of you and he painted it. Oh, and it was, it was just, this is it's beautiful. been getting visitors, 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 visitors. You know, you know how I found it? People were posting and You're tagging fine, me. Actually. And I didn't even know, I'm like, where is this? Because I don't have no idea where yeah. this is. I love it. Your, your fans have been coming here to visit us. Really? They come to visit their children that they sponsor. They want to make sure that we're real, that we can pinch us. It's not <laughs> real. Jennifer's not real. Thank you so much. And to people, through the video, all these people you've been sponsoring, through the video, that's why we indicate what the Maya. That you people are the true heroes right here. And your names have been here. All, I don't even know how to, your names are many. And wow. through that video, that we got all these. So through what the Maya. So thank you so much. Whoever you out there don't believe the story. It's real. I am real uh -huh. and they are real. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope she's not one of them. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, Auntie Canada. <laughs> Auntie Canada, hi. Are you from Canada or you are Auntie Canada? From Canada. From Canada. What are you doing here? Came to visit Miss Dawn. Oh. The wonderful work she's doing, changing lives of girls. It's amazing. That's beautiful. I hope I hope you are also going to be one of our sponsors. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, if you want to say anything about Africa, what will you say? It's a beautiful place. It's warm. It's lovely. You got Miss Dawn here. Um, anything that you need in terms of advice, how, how to build um, life here, she's number one to talk to. And the children she takes care of is amazing work. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I've never seen anything like that. She's the first to show. She's a, a truly a leader. Thank you so much. What a good to be here. Round of applause. Who are these? These are all of some of the people, a lot of them are your sponsors, who sponsor us. Some people sponsor and they don't really want to sponsor children. They just send money to help us, whether it's $20 a month, um, $5 a month, whatever it is. Oh, wow. A lot of these are your sponsors who sent money. Um, some of them have sponsored 10 children, um, 15 children, and they send money. And so we wanted to officially thank them so that their name is etched on one. See, there you are, Moody. No, my still, my <laughs> name is still here. Huh? My name is still here. Yeah. They're giving me so much credit. Yes, you deserve it, Maya. Oh, boy. You it. This is beautiful. 
And, and that's another one of our, our sponsors who sponsored the, the, um, the program, the, helped to sponsor the wall. Oh. And, uh, her name is Avis um, Weaver, and she, um, she, her mom died, and her mom is a child educator. And so she gave us money to help to build the wall so that her mom's photo could be in Africa. Huh. Um, you know, one of the things with my, all of our African-American diaspora wants to come back to Africa hmm. to, to, to make their, to, meet, to see what their ancestors' life was, to connect. So a lot of times they are doing little things and this is something that we can do to help them so that whether they bring their ashes or they just have a picture, donate, we, we'll showcase them on a wall. And it's something that British Africa has been doing for the last six years. You know, I, I declared this year as the year of charity and I still want the year of, uh, I still want this school to be part of the year mm -hmm. of charity, right? So I guess, do we need more kits or there's something that you need that you think we can do for you? Well, you see this building that we're looking at? Yeah. It's falling down. It's falling down, yeah. It's the oldest building on the campus. Okay. All the other ones we have renovated. So we're trying to get money to do the roof and to fix this building. Oh, how much it's do you think it's going to cost? Block. It'll cost us about um, $10,000 to fix it. Okay. That's what the quote is right now. All right. And so we're working to fix this school block and that's what we're doing. So I'm, I'm going to pay $2,000? Thank you. Myself and then Thank I you. guess my audience will pay the $8,000 then. So. <laughs> so you know, you know what we're going to do, like I said earlier, this year is the year of charity and I'm getting involved myself. I'm not going to come in here to beg you to support, but I am actually doing it, which shows that we need to come together and do this together. So $10,000, I'm going to create a GoFundMe. There's going to PayPal link and everything. I think within two months, we should be able to raise that $10,000. Um, the kids that you have, you said we have to renew it, right? Yeah. How do so, you renew? So we have 125, for example, of, of your fans yeah. that sponsor children. Yeah. So they all get updates of each of their children mm -hmm. every, um, a couple of times a year. So what we're asking them to do, if they still want to continue to sponsor, some of them are already renewed. Hmm. Please remember to renew so that your child will continue to be sponsored by you. And do we still need more people to sponsor more kids? I mean, if they want to, they can. No, we, we need it. Listen, like, these are kids that are in the city or in the village who don't go to school. So, I mean, putting kids in school, do you know the blessings that comes out of it? See, for me, I think I'm doing all these things because of my dad, because I used to live in a house with so many people that I don't know anywhere, but dad just go to the street, pick them up, bring them to the house and say that I'm gonna take these kids to school. At the end of the day, we are not even benefit, we are not benefiting, but the poor dad my dad took care of, I feel like that's the blessing that we as children are enjoying. So maybe you are doing it not for yourself, but with your next generation. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for donating that dollar. The link is in the description. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> your one and only annoying village boy is saying that the time is now to give back to the society. Okay, we are not done yet. We are not done. Maya. Come, come, come. Hey, we are not done again. <laughs> Let's go to my photo. <laughs> I even have, hey, I have, I have drinks for you guys, yeah? <laughs> Steven! <laughs> hey! Yo, give me that drink in a... One, the two, boots. go! Hey, black child, do you know who you are? Who you really are? Do you know what you can do? What you want to do? If you try to do what you can do, Hey black child, do you know where you are going? Where you are really going? Hey black child, do you know you are strong? I mean really strong. Hey black child, do you know you can be what you want to be? If you try to be what you can be. Hey black child. Be what you must be, learn what you must learn, and tomorrow your nation will be what we want it to be. Thank you. I am Maya. That's so beautiful, yeah. In, in Ghana, yeah, you have to taste. Okay. <laughs> and you're giving stuff to kiss. You have to taste it for them to know that. Uh, <laughs>
There's nothing in it. Yeah, so. Uh, he has to taste two, eh? <laughs> he has to taste uh, He doesn't have to taste one. <laughs> Thank you, Ekum Fimpio Juice. We love you. If they love you, I guess from now onwards, you need to sponsor these kids, yeah? So every party of them, I, I want to see them. You guys want to drink a confit all the time, yeah? Yes, yeah. please. <laughs> Boss, I think you've seen this video. So I believe that from now onwards, anytime they're having a party, I'm gonna make sure that the only drink that they have in there is a confit juice. This is proudly made in Ghana and we have to support and embrace it. Thank you.